The last time I went to Morecambe versus Cambridge, a lot happened off the field. Over 120 Cambridge fans travelled up to Morecambe for them just to really get chucked out by the stewards. I don't know what is happening. We are being told to sit down in the second half. Everyone. Long story short, the Morecambe stewards just did not like the 120 Cambridge fans standing up, chanting their team, making a journey and making a bit of a racket, supporting their team at an away game. <sighs> Baffles me still to this day. So the stewards at half time told all of the Cambridge fans, the 120 of them, to just sit down and watch the game without standing up and no chanting. However, me and Morecambe have a bit of history because they tried taking down my video which did not go down with myself and it's still on their platform. 1-0 Fusion. So this time I thought I'd go back up to Morecambe with Cambridge and with 84 fans this time. That's how many tickets have sold on a Tuesday night to travel up to Morecambe. If I'm honest, all I'm going to do is commend the Cambridge fans for making the effort because a Morecambe away on a Tuesday night, a rearranged fixture, you, all you can do is commend that. Fair play to the 84 fans. 85 when I get my ticket on the gate. But nevertheless, please leave a like on this video. 250 likes will be absolutely amazing. Tomorrow, I'm going from Morecambe to a Champions League night somewhere. Leave your suggestions and thoughts on where I'm going tomorrow. Follow my social medias. They'll be on the screen right now. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and let's go up to Morecambe and see if Cambridge can get an away win on a Tuesday night to Morecambe. And also, can we stand? That's the question. Can we stand on the away day? Let's see. Let's go to Morecambe and find out if we can stand. Right, Kieran, we're on our way to Morgan, aren't we? Yes. Round two, but this is the first time you've gone. I'll tell you what. There's some absolute scenes going on in the coach right now because there's two free tickets being raffled off right now. And I haven't got my ticket yet. Have you got your ticket? No. So I'm going to beat you to a raffle and I'm hoping I win this raffle. Have you got your ticket? No. Uh, hopefully I'll get this too. Please, please. Right, little update. There's five people on one of the five. Two tickets. Uh, if I don't win this, I'll be fuming. I'll tell you now. Kieran, mate, the raffle's not been taken yet, but where are we? Greg's. Greg's. We're back, mate. You're my content, bro. We're, we're joining Freddie. We've got Dylan, mate. We're getting a Greg's, aren't we? We're getting a Greg's. And you're paying? Oh, I'm paying apparently. Tell you what, this is the most nutty service station you've ever been to. It's like a spaceship. Ah, oh, he's got his cans already. He's got a martini. What a trooper. Greg's, what are you going to get, pal? I don't have a jam donut. I don't know, mate, but this is what you need to, This is what you need every away day, pal. What have we got here? Oh, Josh. Oh. I think we have to go for the four. Do you want me to get you then, mate? Yeah. The four. Get the card. Will you be happy? Yeah. There you go, mate. Are you happy? Mission succeeded. <laughs> Donuts acquired. <laughs> Are you ready, mate? It's a meat. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his dark fruits. I've got a four pound ninety five Peroni. That's awful. What Peroni, have you got? Same again. Well, Coke. Oh, What's got? Oh, fucking Coke. <laughs> 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 Carlsberg. Standard, mate. Go on, give us a rating, mate, of the dark fruits on tap. It's not too bad. Seven. Seven. Ah. Fuck that beer reviews. And this is Freddie, mate. <laughs> right. So as you can tell, I'm up north. I'm up in the northwest, to be precise. I'm at Morecambe. And I've got to be honest with you guys, I lost a raffle. I didn't, we didn't win a raffle. They gave me a fiver to be fair and gave the two tickets to the actual adults. I know I'm an adult, but I can get an under 23 ticket. And they gave me a fiver to kind of like put funds towards that. So actually respect to the people on the coach for doing that. Right, Freddie, mate, he's back on the channel. I'll tell you what, who did we meet before we well, came I in, though? I the turnstile and Paul Mullin. Paul Mullin, Mullin. 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 Cambridge legend. Cambridge legend. Was 34 goals for us last season. Yeah. He's in the away with us today. That's incredible, Scott Varenet. Um, it's great for him, I think it's good support for him. Yeah. Uh, it is nearby, you know, place for Wrexham. Um, exactly. It's good to see him. It back is. Yeah. And um, what about predictions today? Difficult game, innit? I think it'll be high score, and apparently their defence is quite leaky. Um, I think it'll be 3 2 to Cambridge. 3 2? Uh, Jesus Christ, I, I hope so. I'm confident. I think we can go for back to back wins for the first time this season. Nice, right, so we're at Morecambe. We've got a meat pie. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it a nice solid 8 out of 10. I think it's an award winning pie in the EFL or something. And uh, I'm going to give my prediction, boys. Alright? You ready? I'm in confidence today. We've travelled all this way. We've seen Paul Mullin, a Cambridge legend. Bangs in the goals, mainly him on the pitch. But today, 
he's going to watch the goals because it's going to be 2-1 Cambridge. Away win, three points, come on to Cambridge. I'll tell you what, the stewards have been top class, but they're now showing my video from last time to them. And I'll be honest, they've been class, haven't they? They yeah, have been yeah, class. Yeah, nice little chat with them. Uh, they seem decent. They, seem... they tell us on the way in that you can stand at the back. Exactly, the exactly. I've got no problems whatsoever. In fact, they're probably one of the most friendliest, talkative stewards I've met so far, no, to be no, honest. I repeat last time. They seem like they're... Yeah. Correct. One of them is well, a nice lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Respect to him. Respect, respect, respect. Oh, there's a potential. There's a potential. We could get the gloves. If I get them, I'll auction them for charity. I'll auction them for charity. I'd really respect that if you did, mate. I'll shake your hand. I can't, I'm eating a pie, but... You can shake mine, sir. I'll donate it to Cancer Research and I'll sell them. I'll get them signed. Honestly, if you do that, mate, oh, fair play to you. Bobby, Kieran, Dylan. Come on, mate, prediction. What are you saying? 3 0 Cambridge. 3 0. Is Marlin scoring? Yeah. Is he jumping on? Yeah. There you go, Kieran. Come on, mate. 2 1 to the East. 2 1. 2 1. That's, that's a fair prediction. Come on, then. 3 0 Cambridge. 3 0. Fair play to all the Cambridge fans. I know there aren't many. A Tuesday night a rearranged fixture. Fair play. We'll try and make some noise tonight. But come on then. He's going for them all. He's going for them all. Super Jack. Football in a library. Football in a library. He's going to shoot. Oh, great save. Needed to save that. Oh, let's not. That what? Yeah, yeah, you tell him, mate. You tell him. Yes. yes! Well done. Yes, Come on, Ed. That's Lewis Dunk's brother. That's Lewis Dunk's brother, you know. I never knew that until today. I'll tell you what, we've been on about standing up before the game. Fucking look. Go on, go on. Oh, well, I mean, let's actually attack it. To be honest, not much stuff in the game so far. It's been very 50 50, if I'm being honest. This is not good. Not good at all. He's got a ball. Oh. Yeah, that's probably the best attack of the game so far. I actually tried to make him. But I'll be honest. Morton fans are so quiet, I can't lie. They've got a full terrace and they haven't even made one song yet, which is quite appalling if you ask me. We've got the ball! 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 We've lost the ball! We've lost the ball! We've lost the ball! He's a lively one, eh? He's a lively one! Wait, they're, actually, they're, they're watching my video down there. I've just seen my channel on his phone. They're watching it down there. They're watching it. What's all this about then? Nah, they love it. They love it. They love it. Come on then. Ball in. Huh? Oh, what a chance. Jensen shoots. Oh, oh my God, mistake. I'll tell you what, Jensen causing problems in the middle. You can definitely see why their defence is shaking. You can definitely see it. Just needs to capitalise on it. <laughs> One nil with an absolute bagger. What? What? No way. What a goal. What a hit. Top left hand corner. It was his fault. My camera went because of him. What? One nil Cambridge. Incredible. That was incredible. What a hit. What a goal. One nil. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, what a chance. He got to score that. He got to score that being a striker. They played so well. They're playing really well. Since the goal, they're winning the game. Playing opportunities. Should be two to not two first. Oh. Yellows! Come on, mate. He's been starting them all. Fair play. Half time. 1 0 Cambridge. 
deservedly so. There's been a lot of chances where yeah, they could have been ahead by a lot more goals. United! Yeah, United! Yeah, United! Next time, let's see if they can get more goals yeah, and get them five to three points. Right, half-time, 1-0 Cambridge. A little over of the match. It's been quite good for Cambridge side of the game. They started pretty poor, but during the match, they got themselves into the game. It's got an absolute scream. And since that scream and the goal, Cambridge, it's been all Cambridge, basically. A lot of opportunities, a lot of chances they should have scored. But it's half-time. I've got my second point. I've got my second point. Look at that, beauty. It's that good. It is that good. It is. Okay, maybe a bit. The gravy is a little bit lumpy, but I tell you what, the quality when you put it in your mouth. Oh my days! Yeah. Brilliant, perfect, and I love it. Right, I've got this banging pie. The teams are out for the second half. Paul Mullins here. Uh, I mean, it, it says all really, doesn't it? I feel so fat right now, eating two pies and our bag of Haribo's. I tell you what, I think it's the first bit of noise. First, first bit of noise Mark ever made. Oh. On target. On target. That's, that's for the stat. I think Morecambe have just made his second try in the game. But to be honest, I don't hate Morecambe whatsoever. The stewards this game have been really, really friendly. And this could be 1-1. No, it's offside. It's offside. But I must say, the stewards today, they, they obviously know me from the video before. They've been showing me in. They've all been having a laugh about it. They've been really cool, really calm. They've been understanding. And to be honest, they've been really good and the most friendliest stewards I've, I've kind of met, which is kind of ironic. I must say, I've been the guys in the video before, the stewards, they've all left now, apart from a few, so it's nice to recognise a few and still take the banter from last time, but yeah, they all know who I am and it's all been a laugh. I can't lie, so far, it's, oh, yeah. it's all been Morecambe, I'll tell you what, it comes from attack now, in, off the post, and ball, oh my days, it was off the post. Whoa, no, that's a red, that must be a red, how is that a yellow? No, 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 no. That's a that's a red all day, I'm sorry. Super Jackie Ardo! Get it up! up. Shino Tracy! Oh my god! Oh! Pen yeah! Yeah! Penalty! Oh, it's a pen! To make it two, to make it two, Cambridge, you got a penalty. What do you think? Is it going in? It's going in. This is this is huge. To make it 2-0. This would be a massive three points. If he scores. Yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Get in there! Come on! Come on, Come on! Come on! Come on! He loves it! He loves it! Come on! Here we go, he's got the pace to take on old pitch, I'm telling you. Just go for him, mate. Go on, take him on, take him on. Oh, he's got some pace, hasn't he? Sam Smith is on. Corner Cambridge. If they make it free, this would be bloody fantastic. And they deserve it, to be fair, they really do. The tenth today is 3,000 Morgan fans and 133 Cambridge fans have made a long journey on a Tuesday night up to Morgan, winning 2-0, so it's a fantastic trip in the end. But I tell you what, fair play to every single Cambridge fan who has made this journey. I know I've said it already, but fair, fair play. I tell you what, these Morgan fans are absolutely raging as referee. And I'll be honest, I do think the referee's been a bit biased towards Cambridge today. I must admit, I'm going to be honest. It has been a bit of a library. It has been a library today. I, know, I, I don't know how we come across the Morgan fans, but I'll tell you what. Cambridge are giving it a good go, singing. Here we go, let's have a third, let's have a third. It'll be rude not to, won't it? It'll be rude. Oh dear. I said, oh, that's it. But I'm over there. No, Paddy won't give it on a boat. Four minutes added on. We're chancing easy, because it has been, quite frankly, been quite easy. I know Morecambe have had a few chances. But I say overall, Cambridge have definitely deserved this victory. 2 0. It's just a perfect result for all these fans making, making this journey up. It's the perfect result for the fans. And this takes Cambridge up to ninth place, but before the season, I'll tell you what, it could be free. No way. Oh no, he's holding up. But. but he shoots. Oh, just wide. But as I was saying, Cambridge definitely deserve this win. 2 0. It's been quite good, we're being honest. We're getting passion, fight, desire. You can, you can tell in the. The older players are playing, they're really, really going for it and they really want the points. Ninth in the table before the season, everyone's right and it's been relegated, so this is a massive three points and it's, a, it's just a statement out to the league. But Cambridge, they're not going to go down easy without a fight. Make it 
making all the noise everywhere we go. Om oh, loves it, he loves it. Everywhere we go. Massive three points for the Cambridge. Everywhere we go. It's the Cambridge boys making all the noise everywhere we go. Fair play to these guys, they a four all game. Cambridge. Amazing. It always goes toilet. See you later. Let's play as coach. We've upgraded our coach. What a win for Cambridge. That is going to be of his video. Tomorrow's video is European. We're going for more. Go on, you, you. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Fucking Cambridge. Come on. <laughs> this is the first away game with Cambridge I've actually seen them win. So this is this is great. Absolutely amazing. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you want more Cambridge content. I'm not, I don't support Cambridge, but I'll tell you what, it's, it's fun following them, I can't lie. Oh, what do you want? What do you want, Om? What do you want? He, he, he thinks pints are fun, I'll tell you that now. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm in Dortmund to watch them face Ajax. See you later, guys. Goodbye. I'll tell you what, it's worth, and I really want to put this in the video because last time I was slagging off the stewards a lot because, no, let's be honest here, mate. The stewards. They were, they were really friendly today, They're really nice. really reasonable. Really, really good, that. because last time, I can't lie, they were horrible. They were really horrible to us away fans, where there was kind of that similar amount of fans as last time, but they were really horrible. So, but today, they were really friendly, really kind, really polite. Everything about it was really positive. And to be fair, our time and walking, three points. Stewards are fine. Nothing wrong, nothing bad, and a banging pie. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.